Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, barristers, wherever and whenever you are watching. I am Jasami Casaniela, and welcome to this week's episode of Campus News. And I'm Petros Bedrosio. We are here bringing you the latest news that matters to John Marshall High School and its surrounding communities. And are you ready to play an Easter Kahoot? Where the winner wins a golden egg. If I were you, I would totally play. I would play, but I hear that the, uh, the prizes aren't real. Shh, they don't need to know. Well, let's go to Kehlani, the sponsored host of The Baby Kahoot, aka The Easter Kahoot. Okay, hello everyone. I am Kehlani and welcome to a quick Kahoot game for this special occasion, spring break extravaganza, what we call it, of Easter. Now, these Kahoot games, it has a few tricky riddles and then at the end it has some Easter related questions. Can you guess the answers? and do what it takes to win the golden egg? Well, we'll see. Our contestants for the day are Lola, Donovan, Chudy, Rafa, and Sean. Among US 111111. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I see. Just to make it harder, I'm going to put it in Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> no, that, the red one's looking pretty convincing. Are you? Oh. Period. Period. <laughs> 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 has a face but no body. Uh. Eeny meeny miny moe cat's tiger by the toe. If y'all listen, go eeny meeny miny like we just Oh, I just goofed. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> the power of guessing. Just kidding. So one and oh, four. The one one. We're doing oh. great. Lola, we're doing great. We're doing <laughs> awesome. Thunderstorm, who's most likely to get hit by lightning? Oh boy. The... Oh, I already goofed it. <laughs> sure, really. That's a I clever riddle. That's a clever little riddle. I got that one though. I'm pretty sure I got it. I'm pretty sure I got I'm it. I'm going for the memes. Yeah! yeah! I didn't yeah! read. I should have read. <laughs> Eggs in the U.S. What sort of critter delivers the goods in Germany? I don't know. Krampus. I don't know. Surely. Here. Squirrel. It's gotta be. I don't know anything about Germany though. Oh, oh let's go. Live in German let's beer go. With German fox. Fair enough. That's the most logical to me. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> The um, biggest number. Biggest number. Second, That's my rationale. The second biggest baby. Actually, Shooty's on a roll. I'm gonna follow Shooty's answer. No, oh, it's the what biggest the baby. What the? <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. I should have said anything. I'm gonna make a comeback. You spent how? <laughs> One thirty-one seems. No that one's pretty. Yeah, that one's pretty. Are you... Oh my god! I should have trusted my gut. I should have trusted my gut. I should have trusted my gut. I'm throwing. So... In ounces and the others in. What's the last one in? All right. Well... <laughs> that one. That's the answer. It's the one with no unit of measurement. Seventeen thirty-eight. Answering these. There are two questions. right answers. What? And no one got it. <laughs> Oh my god! Time Rafa has talked this entire time. <laughs> sure. Oh, I'm gonna go. Man, that was fast. <laughs> so we eat the Alright, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> so I'm you're mad if you eat anywhere else. Who oh, won the golden egg, guys? Let's see. The golden egg is not worth it. <laughs> Chat Captain won the bronze egg. Hey, podium! Podium! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> At least my fans are smart. <laughs> Rafa and Wes won the chocolate bunnies. Thank you. Thank you for the Congratulations. participation prize. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, to you, winner over there, you have the power of the sacred golden egg. Congratulations for making it this far through those very, very tough questions. Now, what do you win out of all this hardship? Let's go. This is what you Let's win. go. Let's go. 
you. We, we are we are sponsored by we are sponsored by the baby. By the baby. Thank yep. You. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. That was a fun game. I'd play again. But did you know that Cesar Chavez was a vegetarian? No, I didn't. Let's take it back to the 60s with one of our most important Latino activists, Cesar Chavez. Take it away, Lillian. 31 de marzo honora Cesar Chavez, un líder sindical estadounidense y activista de derechos civiles, aunque el distrito escolar reconoce el día de viernes de 26. Veremos la breve historia de la vida, los logros y el impacto del señor Chavez en la sociedad. César Estrada Chávez nació en Yuma, Arizona, el 31 de marzo de 1927. A fines de la década de 1913, después de perder su propiedad por una ejecución hipotecaria, él y su familia se unieron a más de 1,300 personas que se emigraron a California durante la Gran Depresión y se convirtieron en trabajadores agrícolas migrantes. Cuando César Chávez era mayor, dedicó el trabajo de su vida a lo que llamó la causa, la lucha de los trabajadores agrícolas en los Estados Unidos para mejorar sus condiciones de vida y de trabajo mediante la organización y negociación de contratos con sus empleadores. Como líder sindical, Chávez se camisó marchas, pidió boicots y realizó varias huelgas de hambre. Sabía la importancia de tener una economía que funciona para todos y dedicó su vida a cambiar los campamentos de migrantes, los contratistas de mano de obra corruptos, los salarios insuficientes y el racismo. Honoramos a César Chávez y su lucha por ayudar a los demás. Demostró la importancia de tomar una posición para luchar contra la desigualdad y promover la paz dentro de nuestra comunidad. Thank you, Lillian. Chisami and I have gained a lot of knowledge in how Cesar Chavez has fought for the Latino community. Well, as seniors gather their college acceptances, some have been struck by the typical setbacks of senioritis. Hey, Petros, have you experienced senioritis so far? Luckily, Chisami, I haven't. But with these highlights of the new podcast, you can get a glimpse of how senioritis has affected some of our campus news barristers. Let's jump into the preview of the Quarantines Podcast Senior Edition. We can all agree that we are overwhelmed by the amount of work teachers are putting on us, but we can't ask for help because they also have their own lives. Yeah, okay. I don't, I don't really remember a lot, if I'm being honest. I remember being cool, though, like very stress-free, I guess. I guess that's why it was kind of fun. Ooh, this is awkward. Okay, I feel awkward. I feel like I'm really getting you guys to reflect on your whole lives. <laughs> I don't know, just believing now that in a few months we are going to graduate is kind of crazy. Thank you for joining us. Bye. If you want to see the full video of the Quarantines podcast, make sure you click on the link below. Wow, I didn't know what seniors go through. As we wrap up Women's History Month, Here's a short clip about the first Native American Secretary of the Interior, Deborah Haland. In honor of last week's momentous occasion, Women's History Month would not be complete without shining a light on the first Native American Secretary of Interior, Deborah Haland. Born into a military family, the 35th generation New Mexican and member of the Pueblo of Laguna attended a total of 13 schools before graduating high school. Holland attended the University of New Mexico at 28 and graduated with a bachelor's in English. Raising her daughter as a single mother, Holland earned her Juris Doctor in Indian Law, but while doing so struggled to make ends meet. While running a salsa business, she was a tribal administrator at San Felipe Pueblo and later became the first woman elected to the Laguna Development Corporation Board of Directors, where she advocated for environmentally friendly policies. Later, she would run for Lieutenant Governor of New Mexico and become one of the first Native American women to serve in Congress, where she focused on environmental justice, climate change, missing indigenous women, and family-friendly policies. Thank you, Anastasia Manvelian. Isn't it crazy how women are so powerful? On the other hand, I have been feeling a bit sluggish lately. What can I do, Petros? I heard there's going to be a special Zoom exercise meeting with the one and only Emily Yoyang. 
So let's get started on those exercises. In addition to boosting your mood and improving sleep, exercise can also strengthen your immune system, something that is particularly important at this time. You could start your day off with stretching to warm up your body. Putting music on can help motivate you. Let's start off with five push-ups. Continue with five sit-ups. Now let's do five squats. Moving on to five mountain climbers and a few jumping jacks. Those were great exercises. Now I feel very motivated to stretch. That's enough stretching for today, Petros. Hey, did you hear that the COVID vaccines are becoming more available? Yes, I did hear that. And we hope that many decide to get their appointment as soon as possible. Passing the spotlight to Benny, explaining the difference between the Moderna, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, and who can obtain these three vaccinations. Hi, I'm Benny, and here's some important information on COVID vaccines. As of now, there are three variants of vaccines. The P. Pfizer BioNTech vaccine, released in mid-December of last year, the Moderna, which was released around a week later, and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which was approved in late February. Secondly, seniors and teachers are currently being prioritized with the vaccine first. For now, the Johnson & Johnson and Moderna vaccine is off limits for those under 18 years old, and those under 16 cannot get the Pfizer vaccine. Thirdly, last week, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, over 33 million total people in the U.S. were reported to have been vaccinated at least once. Hey, Benny, is there anything else we should know? Of course. How long the vaccine will actually last is still currently being tested by scientists. And for this reason, normal precautions are still being recommended, such as staying six feet apart, wearing a mask, etc. Thank you for listening. Aw, uh, that sucks. We can't get those shots. But at least the healthcare workers, teachers, and elders are safe. Overall, those were some very important facts. Now let's get into a more serious topic. We will hear from Brooke Howard regarding Valerie Ortiz's story. Upon the Biden administration taking office, Marshall alumni Valerie Ortiz awakened to see her father, William Ortiz, being detained by ICE police. He was stopped while leaving home for work in the early morning. Within weeks, her father was deported to El Salvador, giving the Ortiz family no chance to fight. Population on Saturday, March 6, the Koreatown DC Puller Assembly joined with Students Deserve and the Ortiz family at the Silver Lake Reservoir for a Car Cavaran socially distanced rally. Fight the power! Fight the power! Its purpose was to not challenge the unprecedented deportation of William Ortiz, but all deportees and ultimately to reunite separate families with their loved ones. At the event, Co-leader of the Students Deserve Marshall Chapter, Brooke Howard, delivered a speech to give the crowds words of encouragement. And today, we are here to change the future! Yeah! We are here to fight for those who can't fight for themselves. We are here for the children and the families and the babies that are stuck in these concentration camps. Brooke's words weren't the only ones heard. Dozens of others chanted in outrage and spoke out, sharing their own experiences and heartbreaking stories. So today, we're also here because a little more than a month ago, Silver Lake Will President William Ortiz was deported one day after Biden took office. Where yeah. Harlem did not do anything, and Democrats are not doing anything to stop the deportation machine. Overall, the event was a success. Our voices were heard. We are continuing to fight and help the Ortiz family bring William home. For information on how you can help, please check out KPA's Instagram at Koreatown Popular Assembly or our John Marshall Students Deserve at jmhs.sd. Now, this wraps up our spring break special. Get some rest, and we hope you guys have a great spring break. Perfect. We're good. Cool. Nice job, everyone. I can stretch now. <laughs>